uh, thought I'd throw up a quick uh, vid showing you the progress that I got done on the table thus far. Um, I got 12 tiles to show you. Um, I was thinking about putting them into the mini wargaming uh, terrain competition, but uh, not really sure if this is kind of what they're looking for or not. But uh, maybe you guys can leave me some comments and feedback. Only got uh, three days before the competition ends, but. Uh, let me know if you think this would be worthwhile entering, and if it is, then uh, if you guys agree, then uh, maybe I'll uh, I'll put it off. It's not going to hurt to put it in, but uh, I thought I'd let you guys uh, kind of decide. So let me show you what I got done. Okay, so here's what I have done so far. This is the 12, 12 tiles of 42. So I got a couple uh, pieces on there just to give you an overview of the scale. So let's give you the walkthrough. Um, here's the main road, it's a little bit of dirt section coming in there and then this is a cobble uh, road that runs into the town um, this little road here is actually going to go down and then there's going to be farm area off the board um, this is a stone wall I put in, it's the remnants of a stone wall so it's kind of broken away I am going to have a few trees in this area, um, a few oak trees so that's why it kind of looks a little bit open excuse me, um, here we have the pond that I um, showed you uh, before in my uh, open box vid you saw. Uh, what else we got? Um, this is a bocage, a little uh, pasture area that runs off board. Uh, here's the start of an orchard. It runs off board as well. Um, the crop row that runs up, you can see there's plugs. One, two, three, uh, sorry, four, five, six, and seven. And then there's eight, nine, ten, eleven plugs. Um, what else we got here that I can show you? This is a uh, crop row area, runs off board. Um, these are the uh, haystacks that I put. They're kind of cool. I actually put them on the plugs as well so you can pull them out. Uh, and then they're kind of a uh, handle for the plug. There's a crop row, I'll kind of show you. Just an overview here. It's a little bit of bocage. I use this bocage row here to kind of border the board. but to make it so it doesn't look like it's too much on the edge, I actually did a little bit of uh, grass on the back side. So it's more for aesthetics. It's not really much playing area, but you could put an observer or something back here and be really sneaky about it. Um, here's the trees. Oh, I'm trying to get down. I did a lot of bushes on this board because I think it looks a lot better when you get down in and start taking photos at this angle. I did a little bit of strip of grass along the edge of the uh, wheat field all the way down, as you can see. That just helps to hide the um, the matting material underneath, so rather than have it on the edge showing, I just do the grass. Uh, I've talked about this before, but I'll just show you once again. I've magnetized all the trees. Uh, there's the magnet there. There's also a magnet inside. And then when you clip them in, it hides both, and it sits flush. Uh, so, like I said, there's the wheat field. It looks. This is my favorite. I like taking shots like this, and you can kind of see the the distance. It gives you uh, kind of a really. Uh, this is when I'm building them. Like I said, I build them from this level, so I don't necessarily build from the bird's eye view. Here's a small man path in between, and then down to the other road running parallel. And you can see I kind of broke up the edge again. Lots of bushes. What I did here for the bushes too, because because I use the same material for both the trees and the bushes, what I do is I put the bush material down, then I add the super turf, and then I, I make it rock hard so it doesn't flake off, because this stuff here is very uh, delicate. But I do a lot of uh, a lot of spray glue, and then I get it nice and hard. So it looks lush, but it's actually a little bit crunchy. So um, the idea being that when you're playing, you're not you're not uh, going to uh, to break off any material. So here's just the gun. You can see it will set up on any of the any of the bushes. It'll set right on top of them. It's not going to crush them down or anything like that. So um, this is my. I love the shots of the pond from this angle as well. So uh, and then uh, here's my hand stacked stone wall and the muddy ruts of the road. You can see maybe better from the top here. So that just runs into the cobble, and you can see the texture of the cobblestone. It's not dry brushed yet, but I will pick all that up. So, yeah, and I just got little tufts of grass coming through the hand stacked, uh, hand stacked wood, or hand stacked uh, stone. So, 
There we go. So I only got a few seconds left, guys. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Maybe some natural light coming through the trees, but hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, let me know what you think, and see if it's worthy uh, to enter the competition. Cheers.